And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dylan Moran. Hello. No, no, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, you know, we're here and everything. Um, I, we're, I'm here with uh, my family. Uh, we're traveling in Australia. Uh, this is too high. Uh, and it's, it's a jail. <laughs> it's a jail. You all, you're prisoners. And you don't like to talk about it. You're sensitive about it. You want to forget the past and move on into the future like every country that has a suspect past. <laughs> you know... It's a totally inhospitable place. You shouldn't be here. It, the sun, you live about three quarters of a mile from it. And um, <laughs> I've seen insects walking around with knee pads. Uh, the, 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 you fling yourselves into the sea when you're not actually walking around audibly crackling in the heat. And uh, <laughs> the sea is full of jellyfish and sharks and other things who hate you. But you persist in living here. So. <clears throat> We flew here, you know, and with the children and everything who are pressing the buttons and not sleeping and actually getting energy from the hatred they inspire in you on the plane. And, um... <laughs> but so you all really come from, from Irish prisoners, and, and that was because the English sent you here a long, long time ago. And um, the English were very good at that, you know, at, at founding colonies and so on. A lot of it was because of the voice the English voice. Irish people you never see starting a colony, you know, willingly, because Irish people wouldn't turn up. They would say, we'll go over there, it's got loads of stuff, are you coming? I will, yeah, I've just got to meet my brother for a quick drink. And uh, do, I have to pick up some knitting and things, I'll be there, no. But the English were very good at it because they have that voice, you know, where they can go anywhere in the world, they go to Africa, say, and they say, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your, um, Fubu, hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Uh, listen, um, Fubu, Fubi, I've got some beads here in my pocket. Would you like to see them? Would you, would you like, would you just listen? Clicky clacky sound they make, aren't they pretty? You keep those, you have those, you enjoy those, walk away, they're yours. I'll just have from where you're standing to the horizon. Thank you very much. <laughs> they were all very good at that. But anyway, so it's a, you know, it's a jail you live in. It's lovely, you've done wonderful things with it. <laughs> but you are all still in denial. The only real reason I came, I don't want to see Uruloo or Wurruloo or... <laughs> any of your other garden fate exhibits. Uh, the only real reason I came here is to kill a wiggle. I, I can't take it any longer. And, and I, I think uh, it's a question of how do you kill them? Because clearly they feel no pain. Anything that can smile for seven hours and display no fatigue feels no pain. It doesn't... It doesn't. They have no hearts or blood or anything recognizably human. I don't think crucifixion would tickle a wiggle. I, I, I... <laughs> but there must be a way. I know somebody once who once touched one of them. Their urine turned blue. And they <laughs> got third degree burns and now they can't eat dairy. But there must be a way. Uh, that is all from me. And thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. Good night. <laughs>